Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Alright guys, so today I got a sweet new software for you guys. So basically this is some people are calling it the armor crate replacer. So this right here, it has less bloatware and it's more efficient compared to armor crate, right? Some people love armor crate, some people don't. I don't have a problem with armor crate, but this software here is called G Helper. It helps you to navigate the whole system better, helps you to turn on your, your profiles easier, control all your certain settings that you need in game with more efficiency, if you get what I'm saying. All right, so let me just get into it. I'll show you a couple features on it, and then I'll show you how to get it and how to download it and how to use it to its max potential, right? All right, so I heard the software is right here. I mean, I already got it open. I'll show you how to download it in a minute and how to get it up and running. So, G Alpha, off rip, you can see all the profiles. You got silent, balance, and turbo, right? So, under that, you got GPU mode. That's not for you if you're using the Asus Rogue Ally. That's mostly for the PC, because this software is also for the laptops and stuff like that from Asus, right? But some of the stuff in here, is mainly for the Asus Rogue Ally because there's an update that recently came out and they're starting to take out some of the stuff that you can't really use on the, the Asus, but they, but, but that original came out for the PC and you can't really use it on the Asus, so they're starting to get rid of some of those features, right? So this row is mainly for the PC, so you don't have to worry about that. The third row, you got laptop screen, 120 hertz, that's the refresh rate for each for the screen. You can turn it to, 60 hz 120 hz right off rip you can even put it to auto depending on what game you're playing it switch automatically so that's good it's good as well in the next row you got uh the rbg light you can switch it right here off rip and if you look switch right on as i do it right and you can leave, switch it it does switch off rip and it's really easy to get to in armor Creek, you gotta go through like three different settings, settings before you get to that man so this right here is great then you got the color right here. You can change the color, everything right there. Then you got extras. I'll show you everything in a minute. That's going through all the stuff that you've seen on the screen. Then you got the battery charge limiter, right? So with this, this is good. If you're always plugged in, you might want to uh, set this to a limit so that you're not depleting your battery of life, right? So because the more you have the battery plug in, the faster you're killing the lifespan of the battery. So this limits it so that it doesn't charge over a certain percentage. So you can set it to whatever you want. I got a 90, I think. Yeah, some people put it on 80. So when it gets to 80, it will stop charging, but you'll still receive power, right? So you're not messing up your battery and your battery lasts longer and it's more efficient throughout like the years and stuff like that. All depends on how you, long you have it. Then you got run and startup. You can select it so that whenever you turn it on, it runs, it just pull up, right? Whenever you turn it on, it just pops up, just like armor crate. All right, so back up top, by the profiles so the awesome thing about this is if you go on each one you can't see anything but if you go to silent then you go to uh, fan plus power you can customize it right same thing like armor crate you customize it you got gpu advanced and then you got to set everything in here right so you got the cpu slow and then you have cpu fast cpu slow that's a regular power profile for silent, I have it on 11. You can put it whatever you want, basically. Cause you know, if you want to play games and sound, you can put it all the way up. If here, if you look, it goes all the way up to 150. But this is the Rogue Ally. It's not gonna pull that much. The Rogue Ally only goes up to 30 or under 30. So on silent, I'll put it to put it to 11 or 10, whatever you want to set it to. And it's up to you. Then once you do that, you click apply. If you don't click apply, the power limit, it won't um, go into effect, right? So if you look over here, you see it, it's showing 11. All right, so the top one is saying 10, and CPU fast is saying 11, and it's saying 11 right here. So whatever you set, I recommend you set the, the limited boost, which is the CPU fast, because that's only boost for a certain amount of time, then it goes back to the regular. I recommend you set that to the same as regular CPU slow. Reason being is it's gonna always show that number for the fast up here. So if it's uh, if you put it at 20, it's gonna always say 20. But remember that's only for a short period of time. But once 
that fast is done, it goes back to slow. And it's gonna still be showing the number for fast, if you get what I'm saying. So I recommend you put both of them to the same and then you have a more uh, effective way of knowing like what you're really running at the time, right? So yeah, that's for silent. Let's make you hit that. You can also change the fan curve in here and then you hit apply. Off rip, the fan curve that they come with, all the profiles, they're decent. You don't gotta mess with that, it's up to you. But also remember, you gotta make sure you click apply if you do that. For balance, I got it on 17 watts. You can do whatever you want. And also, you could change the aggressiveness in here as well. You don't have to go in all those settings and to find it, to change, change it from aggressive, disable, whatever. I have a video on that. In here, off rip, you do everything right here in the CPU boost. So once you go here, you go to CPU boost. I have it on my balance. I got an aggressive. And in silent, I don't have it. I have it disabled, right? I see it disabled. Turbo, I have it. Um, oh, it's disabled. Oh, it's supposed to be on aggressive as well, too. Then I also got 30 watch, so that's the, also the best mode for all your bigger games and stuff like that, right? So that's basically it for the power profile. As I said, that not needed because it's made for PC. You could change the screen refresher right here. All right, so if you go to extra, right? If you go right here down here into extra, then you see a couple bit more features in here, right? Here, uh, you got the laptop backlight. You got a wake, boot, sleep, shut down. So that's for the backlight. You could set it wherever you want to set it. And if you want to boot up while it's on, vice versa, stuff like that. Then if you go down, Remember, we had a video, I have a video on the AMD display very bright. Off rip, it's this, it was um, selected, but I took it off because for some reason, it, like it blurs some of the image for some of the games. So it's up to you if you want to keep that on or off, but I took it off. And yeah, so one of the next thing I want to show you guys is if you look right here, it says Asus bottom in the red, Asus service running nine. So all those stuff that's running in the background, that's all the ASUS stuff, right? Including Armor Crate, um, Command Sender, everything with ASUS. So it's saying you could stop it right here. If you stop it, it's gonna disable everything. And then you could only be only be using G Helper. Only thing with that is if once you disable that, it's gonna disable your Command Center, which is right here. But you could also re-enable that if you want. All right, so once you hit, if you hit stop running, it's gonna disable everything. So all your armor crate, all your ASUS stuff. Because basically, it's saying you should disable it because you don't want, the software doesn't want the G helper and armor crate, all the commands to be conflicting together and confusing the whole system. So you could turn it off if you want, like by stopping them, or you could not focus on the, the, the ASUS stuff and just mainly use this. But you gotta make sure if you go to armor crate and change any settings, it's gonna override this. And if you come back to this, it's gonna override armor crate. So that's how it's gonna work if you're using both of them at the same time. So you gotta remember that. But if you wanna disable it, them, you just hit stop. So once you hit disable, it's gonna stop everything. So now it says Asus service running zero, all right? So now, if you press this, command center not coming up, and this will now control G help. So this is now basically your new com armor crate, all right? So it's up to you. The thing with this now, you gotta have all your games in here. If you gotta go to Steam Deck, then you gotta go to Steam Deck and have everything on the desktop. So that's the only, downfall with this but if you want to start everything back up just go back here and hit start then it's going to bring every all the services back up that you just disabled so that's why i'm saying i'm running them at the same time so that i don't have to, to do that i want to maybe go to armor case sometimes to get my stuff but you could re-enable disable at will depending on how you want to use it so now since i did that everything is back up 
I got my armor crate back. Got my command center back, right? If you go in here, it's where you can see your updates. These are updates from the bios and this, all the stuff like that. As I saw on the internet, I'm not even sure if this works, if you could directly update directly from here, because there's no update right now. Everything is up to date on the system, so I won't be able to tell you that as of now. And yeah, so now, since I did that, let me show you guys how to download it. And then you can decide if you wanna use it or not, but do you helpful? Definitely could be a replacement. So once you go here, you just go to Google. Just type in G Helper. You go here. Oh. Go to here. Click on that and just scroll down. Then you'll see download. Hit that download button. Then go through the steps. One, two, three. It's gonna give you a folder once you open that folder you just put it on the screen on your desktop if you want to edit to your desktop there's gonna be three downloaded three files in that folder the G helper then you got this wire win ring and win ring and then you can add that to your desktop and then yeah that's basically it so I'm put the link in the description down below or you can just go to Google type in G helper and then you can do the offer just like that and that's basically it guys and um yeah as i said all the time on my videos if you like what i'm posting hit that like button subscribe to the channel for more awesome content and drop a comment down below let me know what you think and thanks for tuning in guys and remember to always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out